Hello, I recently saw this uh, shortcut method for working out the cubed root and I thought to myself, I wonder if that uh, is uh, just a coincidence or it actually works for all the cubed roots. So uh, the cubed root of 125 equals 5 and the shortcut method is where you add the 1 plus the 2 plus the 5 equals 8 and take away the 3 and that equals 5 which gives you the same answer as uh, working out the cubed root of 125. And I thought to myself, surely that can't be correct. So what I did was I, um, I tried a few other different combinations. First of all, I did the cubed root of 216, which is 6. So in this case, it's the 2, uh, it's the 2 plus the 1 plus the 6 equals 9 and then take away 3, minus 3, actually equals 6. And I thought to myself, gosh, let's say that's quite a, uh, either a, it's a good shortcut method or it's, it's a coincidence. So then I tried the cube root of 343, which is uh, equal to 7. I know that that equals 7. And then I um, added the 3 plus the 4 plus the 3, which equals 10. And then once again, I deducted the 3 from the uh, cubed root, and that equals 7. I thought, wow, that's interesting. But, but, but when I tried the, uh, the cubed root of 512, which is equal to 8, then this is where this shortcut method fell apart, because 5 plus 1 plus 2 equals 8. Once again, deduct the 3. And that equals five, so that's a um, a big a big cross on that one. And the same for the cube root of sixty four, which is equal to four. There you add the six plus the four equals ten. Take away the three, and you're left with seven, which isn't correct. So uh, yes, uh, it was sort of a shortcut method that um, works for a couple of uh, cube roots but not for all, so it doesn't work for 4 and 8, but it does work for 6 and 7, and it also does work for 5. So there we go. This is uh, what I'm calling the cubed root shortcut method fail. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.